on Sydney's Western Fringe. Welcome to AWO. Thank nice you. To meet nice you. to meet you. It's the home of second chances. We found you a girl. It's a little Australian terrier mix. I don't even know what that is. <laughs> Here, dedicated staff and volunteers match the orphaned and abandoned. They obviously need that companionship. <laughs> With their forever families. Oh, uh, hello. Dogs add that extra happiness to life. I can't believe this, I'm crying. When you have a bad day, a dog is right there to just make the clouds go away. And while sometimes it's a miss. <laughs> Sit. Sit. <laughs> there's no mistaking true love when it strikes straight to the heart. Where are we going to get our dog? <laughs> At the end of the day, a home environment. Look at you. It came to me straight away. <laughs> Rescue dogs are the best type of dog. <laughs> They've got the best personalities. Taking on a rescue dog. They love you. You're saving a life. And I take you home. And in return, I think they save yours as well. Lakehams Creek. This is Josh. Yeah, hi. I I've just found a couple of puppies tied to the fence down here in the dog park. It's really hot and, and they don't look very well. Can you help? The fate of abandoned dogs is often tragic. Deprived of food, water and shelter, they face a bleak future. Hey, Robbie, you want to come? Come. Thank you. Come on. Come on. Good girl. Hi. Excellent. Our aim at AWL is to give a safe haven to those dogs who have been abandoned. They are generally the sweetest dogs. It's almost like them saying thank you because you saved us. Um, and it's something which is always nice to know that we did help them. Some of the worst cases that come through this shelter have the best outcomes because those dogs are so loving and forgiving of what's happened to them. Sit. Good, oh, very good. Whatever neglect they have been through, when they come out the other end and just love everyone they meet. I see you, oh my goodness. Waggy tail, full body rolls. You think back and go, this dog came in and it, it couldn't even stand up. And now look at it. You ready, Dad? <laughs> the Rabiso Fair are hoping to find a canine companion for recently retired dad, Teddy. He's got fish friends, uh, bird friends, <laughs> you name it. Um, I think he made friends with a frog recently, so <laughs> any animal that comes across, he'll, he'll make friends with it. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. Welcome to AWL. My name is Viola, and I'm assuming you guys are all family? Yes. yes. Yeah. Are you guys at home much anymore? Or not as well, well, dad is now because he's retired, so, oh, yeah. So I'll be home by myself. I need someone to talk to. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you keep him company. Yeah. You know what I mean? When we're, when we're at work. It makes sense, that makes sense. Dad needs company. Recently, I have moved out with my fiancé. We've taken Cupid, our cute little Pomeranian, with us. Um, that was a decision that we made without really telling them. So we took him and they're like, oh, we're, we're taking, taking Cupid. Are you excited? Of course. My youngest. Your youngest? <laughs> Not you anymore, Neil. Dad misses Cupid a lot. He always tries to FaceTime my sister and <laughs> ask for Cupid straight away. Hi. Hello. Hi. 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 Now tell us what you're here for, guys. We want um, a best friend for my dad since I've taken the family dog with me now that I've moved out. Oh, right. Um, and dad has now retired as well, mm. so he's a little bit, um, I would say, lonely, lonely and bored. <laughs> when Ruby and uh, Cupid move out, I nearly, I nearly cried. Oh. You cried. Actually, you cried. No. <laughs> you cried. You cried. I miss Ruby and uh, I miss, miss my dog. So I'm getting the feeling we want a small breed, is yes, that right? Yes, correct, yeah. Because uh, he, she always wants to cuddle the, the, the dog. dog, carry the, the dog. Baby I the like dog. the baby yeah. because I like selfie with the dog all the time in my Facebook, I post it okay. and I love it. <laughs> so the dog needs to be able to get dressed up. Yes, yes. yes. 
and now I'm retired. You know how hard it is. You used to work every day. Now, now it's you stay at home all the time. I walk around. You got no one to talk to. You know, I just just go outside and uh, feed the bird. Now they are my friends. So, what's the cutoff age? I guess five, five six. six. Okay. All right. So Nick and I will head back. We'll have a chat to our manager. We'll try to see what we've got, and we will be back shortly. All right, guys. Okay. Thank no you. problem. Thank you so much. <laughs> That's okay. This is the exciting day of our lives to get a new member of the family. Daughter's moved out. She's taken the family dog, Got which it, is yeah. a pom pom. Yeah. So they want, um, obviously, a small dog, fluffy, cuddly. This is a bit of a difficult one. Mm. We don't do a lot of small breeds here. Are they home often? Uh, retired. Dad's yeah, retired, like, and the dog is for him. All right. Well, what are you guys thinking? What about little Marco? Yeah, Marco. Oh yeah, sweet boy. Uh, Marco's cocker spaniel. He came to AWL as an owner surrender, friendly with everyone he meets. Is he okay with dogs? Right. No, look, he, he's a bit of a dog who is quite selective. Yeah. He's got a bigger dogs. We still haven't tested him with um, just small dogs. I mean, uh, it could potentially could be quite high energy, so... If they have already mentioned about taking the dogs over to meet their pom, I'm concerned that they're yeah. doing that. Uh, we do have... Dewey! Dewey, the little teddy nah, bear. Look at him. So he's 12 years old, so that's, that's a lot older than what they're looking for. We understand that. He's a gorgeous looking boy. Um, you know, he's built his confidence up here. When he first came in, he was quite scared. So Dewey is a Tibetan Spaniel mix. He was uh, recently arrived at AWL as an owner surrender as they were no longer able to care for him. He had quite a bit of matting around his neck and he was sensitive to handling. It's difficult, honestly. Difficult, I don't yeah. think we have anything that is 100% percent like ticks all their boxes. So yeah. yeah. He's obviously got to compromise on the age and um, the fact that they're going to have to go a little bit slow with his handling. Yeah. So let, let's try Dewey and see how we go. Yeah. All right. Perfect. All right. All right. Good luck. All right, so we're going to level with you. We couldn't tick all your boxes. Yep. However, we did find something that ticks some of your boxes. Okay. So his name is Dewey. I already <laughs> like the name. Uh, he's a fluffy little guy, so he's a Tibetan Spaniel mix. Oh, come on. I think I'm really beautiful dog. Dog. <laughs> <laughs> Now, there are some things yes, we so do need to discuss. Absolutely. So the yep. first one is that Dewey is 12 years old. He doesn't fit your age range. He's had a pretty traumatic past and that's caused him to go inwards into himself and he can be quite scared of new people. He's not the dog that you're going to be able to pick up right away. So you will need to build that bond with him so he really trusts you. And then you get to see this beautiful dog. He's an old soul like you, Dad. Yeah. <laughs> At the moment, he's just an old grumpy man. He just wants to sit there. What do you think, guys? Would you like to meet him? Yes, yes you I'm excited now. <laughs> Yes, please. All right, let's make this happen. All right, guys. <laughs> Retirement is good, but it's a bit lonely. I need a dog in my life. That will make me happy. All right. Here we are. Hello. How are you going, Fluffball? So this is Joey. Dewey is your gentian out where his little hair is blowing in the breeze. Unfortunately, his previous owner wasn't able to care for him anymore. He did need a good wash and a good brush. We've been working on socialising him with humans, just getting him used to pets. However, whoever does adopt him would have to just take it nice and slow and just work on it in the home as well. Come on! <laughs> Look, it's really difficult because Dewey has the look that they want. Mm. Other than that, though, I'm really worried that if they spend too much time handling him, yeah. it could be an issue. We know Dewey is a dog. Uh, it's going to take a little bit to gain someone's trust. Old men. <laughs> that would be cute. Let's go, Come on. So, mean, poor 
purpose that I want to have another dog is is not gonna be home alone. <laughs> oh, here he goes. Go, you little Ewok. Go, Ewok, go. Go. <laughs> here we go. Tibetan mix. Uh, he's a spaniel. Yeah. He looks majestic. Yeah, he is. He's like a big puff of clouds when he walks. Hi, Joey. He gets a little bit nervous meeting people. Oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going, Joey? Oh, Dewey. Oh, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go away. <laughs> Dewey, come here. How beautiful it is. He's exploring at the moment. It's really hard. They, you know, they were excited to meet Dewey, but they are used to a very bubbly Pomeranian that is happy to greet everyone and everything. Hope they aren't turned away by his shyness. <laughs> and, and his like loopy tail. So, uh, Lufus needs to I'm doing my thing. <laughs> oh, Dewey, come on. Come. To choose to get a rescue dog that has had, you know, that's a lot of pressure as well. Dewey, come here. Come here. What's happening? You want to say hi? Hey. He's still walking around with, you know, his tail's relatively high and he's... He doesn't look uncomfortable. He no, just no. looks like an independent he's man. He's a very independent man, yeah. yeah. Come, Baba. Baba. Hey. That is a bit lonely at the moment. With the new dog, it will just make him happier because I think he's a little bit sad. Pretty excited. <laughs> I don't know whether I'm nervous or excited. <laughs> Bit of both, I suppose. Mother-son duo Annette and Alex have arrived at AWL looking for a furry housemate. Yeah, I'm, I'm bursting inside. <laughs> you don't look it. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Hey, how are you, Lockie? Good, thank you. It's good to be here. And well, welcome to AWL, guys. Thank, thank you. you. So what's, what's the relationship here? So Alex is my son. At the moment, we're uh, living together. Yeah. <laughs> not the best so I can't work full time yeah so. so so a dog would be a great yeah. distraction absolutely I agree yeah we had to make all sorts of adjustments and compromises for us to um to live together really you know it's a bit of give and take and we've learned how to do that so I appreciate a lot for mum to put me under a wing like this oh. <laughs> are you guys nervous yes yeah. surprisingly Yes. Hi, my name's Ruby. Nice to meet you, Dewey. How about me? Come here, come here. Come here. In the meeting pen, the Rabiso family are struggling to engage with the typically aloof you Dewey. Have your potential new family. Oh, you want to go visit? <laughs> Dad, do you want to try sit here? He's mine. <laughs> <laughs> Dewey, come here. Come here. <gasps> How's my boy? Oh, How's my boy? boy? Oh, okay. Oh. 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 Good boy. Oh. oh. It's mine. <laughs> oh my god. Look at that day. I can see you every day like that. Oh. Good boy. Oh. <laughs> see? Oh. It's Surprising impression, I thought. I'm really impressed with Dewey. Yeah. Do you guys like to take him for a walk? Yes. Yeah. 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 Very yeah. Good. I like yeah. to walk, Dewey. Come here. Want to go for a walk? It's uh, 
mixed feeling. Uh, I'm very excited for him to to like, and I'm really hoping that we get this connection. He's happy with that. Yes. What if this turned up? Annette and Alex are hoping to find a furry friend for their family home. Can I dog can get a cat? <laughs> <laughs> We have a dog door that's this big, so if it comes to the glass. <laughs> yeah, that's right. That's true. Hello. Hi. Hello. How are we? Good, thank Good you. Time. Welcome. So we're after a dog today? Yes, we are. Yep. Beautiful. You guys live together? Yeah, we do. Yeah. yeah. We haven't, off and on we haven't, but we are at the, yeah, <laughs> at okay. the moment. You know, we, we get, yeah. get on well. Yeah. yeah, lovely. Alex first was diagnosed with um, type 1 diabetes at six years old and he had all sorts of other medical things too. So we were quite often at hospitals or specialists and things and so we spent a lot of time together then and we were very close. And there's no one else in the home at the moment? No, just a cat. Just a cat? Okay, okay. so we'll need a cat friendly pooch yes, perhaps. Yes, yes. And what's your cat's name? Uh, well, Clive. 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 We didn't name him, he was a rescue cat and he came with that name. Clive's amazing but he's not really a sit on your lap cat he's our pet but in on a his sense, own too yeah <laughs> in a sense where he's pet as well so um it'd be good to have a pet that equally loves us as much as we love him and who's the dog mainly for who's going to be the primary well, owner no it's kind of both of us really yeah. okay yeah really both of us yeah. it'll be baby it'll be like my motivation so, yeah, okay yeah. And why is now a good time? Like, what what do you need the motivation for? Um, I've got arthritis, so I just need sometimes the motivation to get out sure. and do something. I'm in a slight rut at the moment. It's very hard to get out of. People tell you to do this and do that, but at the end of the day, it's not that simple. You are aged dog. Anything under five, really. Is. Okay. Like, if it's the perfect pooch and it's seven, then we'll give it a go. Okay. Yeah. Um, so we might go and have a chat with our manager and hopefully come out and pick your perfect pooch. Okay. Okay. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you. Can I go in the cattery? <laughs> so you're going to go home with one dog and three kittens. How's <laughs> that, Mum? How'd you go? Jimmy. Yeah. A few boxes to tick for this one. Yeah, why yeah. do you think it's going to be tricky? So they have got a cat at home. Yeah. So it needs to be a dog that is cat friendly. Alex does suffer um, with some medical issues, so can't walk for long periods of time. Oh, right. that's what are you guys thinking? Well, since they've had a Kelpie before, and we could definitely describe to them how this Kelpie is not quite high energy, we do have Swan. She is a beautiful girl. Um, she's got a gentle and sensitive soul. Um, I definitely see her going up to Alex and morning and being like it's breakfast time but in like a sweet cute little way she's very understanding and she's so kind the only thing with swan is i don't know how she'd go with clive their rescue cat yeah okay. i have a feeling being a kelpie she might like to chase her as well okay was there anyone else we were thinking of um i know we do have uh, for a smaller dog we have um sammy it's under five which is what they said would be ideal yeah he's good with cats, cats. He definitely fit through that little doggy door that they've got going to the outside. Yeah. I'd really like to give him to someone who's got the time and is happy to be patient to let him trust you. And they said they are. I, I agree, Corda. I'm pretty much team Sammy on this one, I think. And I think to top it off, he's got a cracking name. You like cracking names? Oh, goodness <laughs> me. <laughs> of course. <laughs> All right. We think we have found you somebody. OK. We found you a little boy. Mm -hmm. His name is Sammy. Mm -hmm. He's definitely going to be a lap when he works up for it. Right. I just think in the meeting pen, he's just going to be a little timid to you guys, but get on right. his level and like encourage him with like yeah. a little cute voice and some snacks always go a long way. Yeah. Because he's so funny with handling, we have to be very specific where we send him home to and yes. you guys are perfect for oh, him. Oh, great. Yeah. yeah. He sounds really lovely. Yeah. yeah. Oh, so would you like to meet him? Yes, yes. please. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Bye, thank you. I've suffered from arthritis. 
It's my early 20s. One of the biggest things about my pain is that it also affects my mental health. I like the name Sammy. Do you like the name Sammy? Yeah. <laughs> Exercise is good for the mind. And if I'm kind of forced to take the dog for a walk, it's releasing endorphins, it's doing everything that I'm meant to be doing. So if I come home frustrated and there's a dog there wagging his tail, I'll be like, I can deal with this. Okay. Okay. Hi, Sammy. Oh, precious bee. Cute kid. Sammy is a fox terrier mix. Although Sammy can be a little bit timid with new people, once he does warm up to the people that he likes, he's very bubbly, he's got the wiggliest bum, and he just really wants to be near his favourite people. For Sammy, we would love for someone to be willing to keep building his confidence, because we know that he can be such a great dog, but sometimes those nervous feelings kind of hold him back. So it'd be awesome if he had an owner who was willing to go at a pace that he's comfy with, we're also proud of how far he's come and we're just really excited for him to go to that permanent, you know, forever home. I don't want to look at the doors because <laughs> anxiety's building. Come on, come on, come on, let's go! And a boy. Oh, look! <laughs> Here I have Sammy! <laughs> Sammy! Oh! So, as you can see, he's quite happy kind of sniffing around, checking things out at his own pace. Yep. Um, he does love a good pat. We're just going to try to avoid going over his head um, and then kind of give him a chance to kind of go, OK, this is yeah, cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Obviously, people with small dogs, that's all they want to do is straight away, like, pick them up and sit them on their laps. But I think with Sammy, it would be better to sit on the floor or on the steps and get down to his level and kind of offer him to come on your lap and see what he chooses to do. All right, I might just let him off just so he can go sure. do his thing, because that's all he kind of wants yeah, to do at the just... moment. Is it better if I get up? down to his level and lay down. Yeah, yeah, we can definitely sort of get down and yeah. see um, if he kind of comes over to us over here. I might leave you guys here to just kind sure. of bond. Okay, thank, thank you. <laughs> Have fun. Sammy? Sammy? Did you want some? He's very timid, isn't he? I feel very sorry that Alex has to deal with so much and he's had to deal with so much all through his life. Come on, bubs. Come on. I guess he was about 12 or something, and he, he said to me, um, Mum, I never feel 100% well. And I, that, of course, as a parent, that just tugs at your heartstrings, you know, like, that's awful that your child is, never feels well. Come on, go on. The dog's always around, and it's, it's, a, it's just there with you, and it's, it's companionship. It's, it puts you in a different mood. I think that it would be really good for him. Hey, Sammy. Come here. Oh, it's be good to see him come up. See what he does. Oh, not the head. Not the head. You smell me. Sammy? No, that's enough. So he obviously he froze and then he kind of lifted his paw and did a little bit of a side eye. I don't know if you both caught that. Do you sit? Do you sit? No? Okay. Mm. <laughs> oh, no. Sorry. Not yet. Not yet. Not yet. I'll leave you. <laughs> Not sure. Very wary of, of when he's been touched. He's like, oh, what's, what's about to happen? Yeah. It's just needs a bit of trust, that's all. You want to play? Maybe not. sister? Another companion? Yeah. Empty nesters Martin and Julie have arrived at AWL with their only child who still lives at home. And they're a four-legged one. We probably give as much attention to our current child, Ruby, our third child, as we did our boys. We're those people with a dog. <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello. How are you? I'm doing amazing. Do I see a leash? Is there a little yeah. friend? There is. This is Ruby down here. There you go. Hello, Ruby. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm assuming you two are together. We are married. Uh, married, okay. How long have you two been married now? 31 years. And together, 35. 35. Wow. We met uh, at a courthouse. So I was a newspaper reporter and Martin was a police officer. And it was love at first sight. I thought he looked quite nice in a blue uniform. <laughs> so how do you feel?
little bit. Nervous? I want her to find yeah. her perfect companion. I really do. She really needs it. is determined to make that all-important connection with increasingly anti-social Sammy. It's hard. I mean, a lot of the time, the dogs here don't pick their people. Mm. Quite often, it's the opposite, where you'll need to pick the dog and then work on that trust and build up to there. I don't think he's scared of us. I think he's just not. Hello! Have you had a good sniff? His tail's wagging. Oh, that's good. That's really good. Little tail wag there. Yeah, for it's going quite a bit. Don't go over the top. Go for his chest. Go for his chest. Yeah, That's actually not too bad. Need to fair me, do you? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? what? Oh. <laughs> oh, awesome. I think I settled in. Try though, didn't you? That was alright. The whole like run up to Alex and jump up was a little exciting. Mm. I think if we take you home, you'll let us rub your belly. Hi! So how did you guys go? Yeah, he's ve he is very timid. Yeah, it yeah. takes him a little while, doesn't yeah. it? Well, if you guys are happy, would you like to take him for a sure. walk? Sure. Amazing. Yeah, let's let's, let's sure. do that. <laughs> Towards the end of meeting Sammy, he was smiling. He was happy. And you can't. Look at a happy dog who's smiling and be sad. He's like, good I, boy. I set the pace, not Good you. boy. Yeah, I am a little bit on the fence on it. There just didn't seem to be any connection. I'm sort of, I don't know, do I, do we, do we, do I, you know. Uh, where are you going? Come on. Hello. Hi. Hello, darling, and who is this? That's Ruby. It's Ruby. Ruby. Hi, baby. Aww. So you're here to find Ruby a friend? We are. A yes. companion. Aww. Definitely. She needs a companion. She's missing her older sister who passed Aww. away in July. Aww. So Aww, she hasn't quite been herself. This is Abby, um, our old staffy girl who passed away in July last year. She'd been astray and no one had come to collect her. I still to this day, I can't believe how you could not come and collect that little face. What does Ruby's little friend look like to you guys? We really love Staffies. Oh, She's our yeah. third They're rescue food Staffie. Staffie. They're amazing Aww. dogs. Um, but we do, I think we are open. Okay. We're open to anything Okay. as yeah. well. Does Ruby have a favourite between you two? <laughs> My relationship with Ruby is uh, very interesting. So I'd been a policeman with Victoria Police for 17 years and for some reason just had a career that delved into more unpleasant things than even the average policeman. Ruby has been very attuned to my emotional state with my PTSD and depression and she knows when I'm having a difficult day. You guys have given us heaps of information which is okay. amazing and let's see if we can get little Ruby a friend. That'd okay. be fantastic. All right guys we'll be back shortly. Thanks, okay. Thank you. Ready? Thank Thank you. you. I'm excited to see what they think will be a match. Lovely couple out there. Yeah. Beautiful little stuffy. Oh, they're nice. Yep. New dog to dog. Yes. That's yep. exciting. Who are we thinking? I really, really love Staffies. Yeah. So I was thinking of little Haru. Oh, yeah. He's a beautiful boy. Look at him. He's adorable. Also, does suffer from some separation anxiety. Yeah. Um, which is why he keeps getting returned. There's that potential that Haru will be left at home alone. Yep. Even with another dog, I wouldn't be comfortable leaving him at home without someone being there to supervise. Yeah. Mm. So who else have we got on the rose? We do have Martin. I absolutely <laughs> love him. <laughs> he's the oh, best. Oh, he's such a good dog. He's a beautiful dog. He's a beautiful colour. He's yeah. just got that sweet little face, typical of a stuffy. So cute. Unfortunately, he was found abandoned in a park, really malnourished and emaciated. His sister, unfortunately, didn't make it. Seeing him when he first came into our vet clinic was just heartbreaking. Like, oh. I've never seen a dog in that condition before, and I think it really pulled on some heartstrings, yeah. like, seeing a dog like that. 
Martin! Since arriving at shelter, Martin has been on a weight gaining plan. Yep. Seems to be working. He's making pretty good progress with that. Good job. I see him walk around now. I'm like, you're so fat now. <laughs> and then, like, right. how he looked when he came in. He is one of our most beautiful dogs. He and is he, so bubbly. Yeah. He's a gentleman. Okay. Yeah. He tries his heart out to please everyone. Yep. And just the fact that he can be so happy after what he's been through, like, just shows that he's got some stamina. Like, he's a pretty strong dog. T. Martin is the way to go. I think so, T. Martin. Yeah. Awesome. So, um, we think we've found you a beautiful young little boy. Right. He unfortunately has a really sad backstory oh. and he has been through hell and back. Oh. Um, so unfortunately he was abandoned at a dog park. But he's just, he's so full of love for like everything he's gone through. He actually had a sister as well. Oh. Um, so she unfortunately didn't make it. Oh. Um, I'm just so excited to be able to give a dog that's had a difficult start in life a chance. Yeah. Second, for them to be a companion to, to Ruby mm -hmm. would be so good. Yeah. 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 Really tugs on the heartstrings. So, believe it or not, his name is Martin. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Well, if we take Ruby, would you yes. like to meet Martin? We would yeah. love to yeah. meet Martin. All righty. <laughs> um, and I'm not sure if we told you, he's a little stuffy. <gasps> <laughs> 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 Martin, <laughs> can you believe that? No. That's hilarious. Oh, little Steffi. When I was very unwell, I, I would have nightmares. I'm not sure what my emotions are when I hear stories about dogs being abandoned or oh, abused. I just, I just feel... get, I get upset. Yeah. I get angry. Ruby would jump on the bed and she would touch me with a paw or with her body and just this reassurance of it's okay, you know, we're here. She was very sensitive to my emotional state at the time. Savvy number four, maybe. <laughs> I hope it works out. Yeah. Now, Ruby needs a companion dog. She not only has a lot of love to share with us, but I think she has a lot of love to share with another dog. Yep. Let me get the door for you. Thank you, dear. Martin! Hi, bud. Let's go. Nervous? Yeah. I'm hoping oh. Martin's okay. You know this. Well, he's been through a lot. You've been through a lot. Yeah. You know? Martin is probably one of the most resilient dogs we've ever seen at AWL. His past might have been quite tough, but he has never shown us that that's where he came from. He always loves cuddles, and despite everything, he is just the easiest dog we have here, and he still has so much love to give. Oh, you look at you. Oh, look at you. Who's the cutest boy? I think Martin's forever home would be someone that's willing to show him as much love as we have at the shelter, to show him that life out there isn't scary. I think he'd love to have another animal in the home and just be able to play, live out his best days, and just be able to give him that quiet and safe space that he probably never had beforehand. Hello, Courtney. Hello. Meet Ruby. Meet Ruby. Ruby. <laughs> oh, nervous. Yeah, she's a little baby. Nervous. Come on, come on. This is such a big moment for Martin. Um, I think we all feel, you know, those butterflies in our stomach at the moment. Come on. You ready? Julie are patiently waiting to meet a potential fur brother for their dog, Ruby. Go dog Martin. <laughs> <laughs> Although, go human Martin as well. Yes. Oh, 
Martin. <laughs> oh. And this is Martin. Martin, meet Martin. Oh. God, I hope this works. Thanks, guys. No thank, worries, you. thank you. Hello, Martin. Did you know my name's Martin? <laughs> this is a big step, so hopefully he's not too overwhelmed. Jack, can you hear these? Do you like a toy? Or you like Ruby? Just couldn't care less. Yeah. Don't know. Hey, Martin. Hello. A little nervous. Mm. Yeah. Martin. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Did you open the door? Try the door. Oh my goodness. Open. Come on. Martin. <laughs> Don't You're <be> cheeky. cheeky. <laughs> oh my heart. <laughs> He's got a nervous look about his face. Yeah. His ears are back. Yeah. We just need to give him space. Yeah. Oh, how good. They're yeah. very understanding, able to read body language. That's really yeah. good. And obviously having this little munchkin, they've gone yeah. through the whole behavioural process of being a little bit timid yeah. and then coming out of your shell. We now like. We're going to be best friends, aren't we? Do you like treats? Do you like treats? Do you like a treat? Oh, yummy. Oh, boy. oh, another one. Hang on. Oh, oh he loves me. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Martin's like, okay, hello, people. Here you go. Uh, hello. Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> That's the stuff. I'll just pack myself against yeah. you. That's fine. Thank you very much. Bit of a scratch there. Beautiful. Oh, oh that so what cute. a baby. <laughs> what a beautiful boy. Hey. Guess who he's next to? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the wounded. Follow yeah. the wounded. Yeah. Would you like to meet Ruby? She's a lovely girl. Ruby, what do you think? Do you want to meet Martin? Hey? He's your brother from another mother. Hi, Martin. What's going on? I just think he's beautiful. He is. You know, I just hope that Ruby and he get on well together. Yeah. Hey, gonna meet a new best friend. All right, we'll just take him back here. So we're gonna get Miss Ruby in here. All right, you ready? Come on. That's a lot. Oh, who's that? Hello. Hey guys, Hello. so we're just gonna do a slow introduction for yep. the both of them. Make sure that they're comfortable with each other before we obviously get them to have a play. Yep. <laughs> yeah, keen. Oh, I mean, that's a really nice body language from Martin. He is showing oh. a lot of interest. Let Ruby come up on her own terms. Obviously, she's a bit shy sometimes. Her Martin looks boy, very excited to say hi. How's it working? Yeah. Good job. And we'll just move around each other so we don't get tangled with our leads. Good. Martin's having a good sniff. Martin is so like, be my friend. Maybe because it's a new place to go, new people. It's like, oh my God, I'm excited. <laughs> That's all right, Bray. Let that happen. Yeah, Ruby. let that happen. Ruby. Bye. Just be nice. Oh, sharing's <laughs> caring. It's okay. Oh. Don't push her off. Oh. oh, don't push her off. Good girl. Good girl. Good job. Just be nice. <laughs> yeah, bring her down. too much she's gone okay that's enough but he read her really well over here the yeah. fact that he took himself away everyone panics when a dog snaps and growls it literally that was ruby telling martin back off you're in my bubble yeah. i don't know he's gonna annoy her a bit too much but we can try i'll flee all right and see, we see ready good boy martin it's really cute if this worked out because ruby could literally be dog martin's teacher all right, this is how you go through life, and this is how you interact, and this is what you do. That'd be cute. Do you want a treat? Will you have a treat? Oh, Ruby. Hey. Hey. What's right. that? Hey. You're all right. A little bit That's of jealousy really over food. Some dogs, yeah, they resource guards, so they kind of be like, no, this is my food, I don't want you anywhere near it. And it does take them a long time to, like, get out of those bad behaviours. <laughs> Look at Martin. What just happened? 
Just what you think he would be the resource gutter if anything, eh? Would you guys be happy to go for a walk together? We'd love to take you yeah. for a yeah. walk together. All good. It's all good, Ruby. Good boys and girls. Come on, hang on. It's really beautiful to see, hey? What he's gone to now, like he's out with a friend. He's got like a potential new family. I hope they take him. Meetings drawn from us, aloof, yeah. You know, I understand with animals, you have to take it slowly and, you know, they're going to do their own thing a bit, but I didn't feel any connection with Sammy at the time. But after we took him on a walk, I actually noticed a difference in him. Even though I didn't feel a connection, I felt that Alex did, and so we just decided together that we'd bring him home. Percy! Percy! Percy, come on! Percy! Percy, come on! On the way home, we decided that Sammy wasn't the name we liked, so we renamed him Percy. Percy, Percy. As soon as we got him into the car, he was like a different dog. He was sort of friendlier and connected more, and by the time we got him at home, it was like he'd been here for years. Percy's helped me mentally and physically. Just, he makes me smile. Hey, buddy, how's your day been? Percy and I have a special bond. We're like a match. It's, yeah. He's a really sweet dog. He's got a really gentle nature, and you can't ask for more than that. He's really made a difference in our family, and he's... He's a friend for life. Yeah. Oh. When I saw Dewey, I, I fell in love with him, and I was really hoping that he would like me. But he was hesitant, you know. He was really unapproachable. My concern is we are rescuing him, so there must be a little bit of problem on him. Bobby! Bobby, come here! Bobby! We decided to bring Dewey at home, but we rename it to Bowie. Kiss me, Prince, kiss me. <laughs> He's like to play around. And he likes her more than me, up to now. You want to be cuddly, huh? It's like a, the house is like lively again. Daddy bought you an outfit. You're going to be matchy matchy. Hey, give me your head. Stand up, stand up. Good boy. Woohoo! Look at that Elvis Presley. <laughs> oh, wow. He just reminds me of Dad. <laughs> <laughs> There you go. <laughs> I feel like I win in the lotto. One, two, three, smile. How's your coffee? My coffee is delicious. Because you made it, not me. Yeah. <laughs> Meeting Martin. Initial, yes, I've got that warm feeling towards him, but certainly we had some reservations and concerns given his history. If you bring a dog home, are they actually going to fit into your family and fit in with the dog that you've already got? Kitty! Come on, Kitty! Look! Good boy! Good boy! Oh, We couldn't have two Martins in the house. It was going to be too confusing. We wanted to rename Martin to Teddy because we just felt the name really fit and suited him. He just looks like a big teddy bear. Having another dog around has been great for Ruby. She's really come out of herself. Her personality's back and she's just enjoying the company. There we go. Good girl. Since we brought him home, just physically he looks better, his coat's great, his personality has come out, and he's quite cheeky. Oh, there you go. Teddy's had a huge effect on me. He's uh, lifted my spirits even more. <laughs> oh, Ruby. <laughs> he suits us and he suits Ruby. We couldn't imagine life without him, really. Our aim is to give him the best ever life. Good dogs. Next time on The Dog House. Yes, I know, yeah. <laughs> it's puppy season at AWL. What do you think she'll do when she sees you? She'll come run the other. Can this cute little pup find a forever family? Aww. And a young
young couple attempt to break the ice with Aspen. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, okay. Think maybe she needs a moment? <laughs>